got DS in the building, man. Appreciate we appreciate you, my guy. Trying, man. That man, man, we just trying to chill. We got the Richard Millie on and all that. Richard, no Richard. Man, that's Richard Cousin, man. That's Richard Cousin, man. <laughs> What's that, Millie, Millie Vanilli Cousin right there? Nah, man, this is called a Sig Design. It's a Sig Design. It's called a Sig Design. White boys from my um, that lady maker. Nah, that's a good job, bro. You know, I like to be different. I don't like what everybody likes, man. It's an honor to have you here, man. Appreciate it, like, man. DS, DS the writer, man. I mean, how did it, how did the whole DS thing came about, man? Like, we ain't gonna get to what you're doing right now. We're gonna talk about what you did first before we get there. We're gonna warm up. Okay. So let's let's get into the music videos. Like, cause when I met you, you was doing videos. Yeah. And you know, Ab had you, you had Ab in the head lock. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you literally like was Ab go to guy like. Yeah. But how did that all? Cause I know did it happen before? I knew you had it going on before Ab, but I knew you through Ab, so it was just like yeah. you know how did how did you and Ab relationship start with 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 doing the music videos? Actually, uh. It was a neutral friend of ours that knew Ab and knew me. And I remember uh, I was down my way and he was like, damn man, you like you dope, you like do videos, I'm gonna plug you with Ab. And like, like, you know AR? I'm like, yeah, I know. Like we never like physically like met or had a dialogue or anything like that, but like, you know, he doing his thing with the music thing, you know what I'm saying? Like I never actually met him. So he's like, no, I'm a bridge with I'm a bridge that got, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, he needs some like because all his videos look like the same, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I was like, okay, cool, dope. And so actually he just gave me a call one day. He was like, no, oh, you know, you want you wanna um you wanna meet you. Like, you wanna get something in or whatever, whatever. Like, where you at? And I'm like, alright, you know, I'll you know, I'll come through. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I pulled up, um, you know, I introduced myself, he introduced himself, you know, good dude. And um um, in, in the beginning, you can tell he was, he was not like kind of like Larry, but you know, he's so used to getting videos for free from everybody and dudes want to hang around. He knew I was kind of different because it's just how my aura, how I present myself. You know what I'm saying? And it was more or less, and everything kind of like happened organic like that day. Like we shot the music video, you know, I smoothed him, um, appreciate him, this, that, and the third. And it was kind of like, you know, he was kind of not. You were not a star Yeah, I was like, 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 oh, like, like no, nah, you know, yeah. damn, like, you know, I need an OBA sweatsuit. Right, yeah. I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, oh, you know what I'm, saying? I'm a man. You a man. He a man. We're going to keep it respectable. I respect you. I want you to respect me, most importantly. And he's just a great dude. But back to the story, I end up leaving. I end up going home. You know, I cut it like lightning speed. Sent them over the trailer, look, coming soon. Right. So, we over did it. He didn't respond to it. Then he responds to it, like, you know, I guess like 10, 15 minutes later. He was like, yo. I'm like, damn, what's up? Then he called me. He was like, he was like yo, man, that shit look fucking good, man. He was like, damn, how you edit that fast? I'm like, yo, I see it before I touch it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's like, well, man, how you see it before you touch it? You mean no been around this way. Right. I'm like, it don't matter. It's like when I go out there and work my workflow, what we did, I think about it. I look at it as like I got a weird way of thinking. Like when I when I leave, I like to work in confusion. I Meaning like I'll be riding home if I shot a video, you know, I can shot videos for you, but you know, my system is I'll be riding home and I'll be listening to music while I'm thinking about what I when I'll get the shot. Because this makes me use the other side of my brain. And how I see video, I see videos like Lego blocks. Like a kid, Lego blocks, how to stack and rearrange and put those pieces in place to connect and make something. Mm -hmm. And line something. But, uh, you know, I told him basically that, you know, that terminology of structure of how I see things. He's like, man, I'm like, you know, you're different, you're different, bro. So, um, I was like, damn, I'm, yeah, he, he like, he fucking with it. So, you know, finish the video, boom, he put it out. Do good numbers, you know, he get 20, 30,000 hits without the marketing promotion. You know how he used to do it, but right. um, he ended up calling him. He's like, Damn, you free? You know, come down to the bed. So I was, uh, I was all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? So at this time, I never asked for no money, you know, and I like to get paid. But uh, I think he overheard me. Somebody called me while he was shooting. And, you know, I'm real stern and how I talk. I don't mean no harm, but I was kind of like checking somebody on. 
Pain and rice is my yeah, rice. Yeah, I was checking somebody on it's payment. Fine, man. Yeah, I was checking somebody on payment on the video. Like, listen, your pro my prices is not based on your budget. It's based on my talent. Right. And he overheard that. And he kind of like reiterated, and cut in. He's like, no, nah, I mean, I'm being conversation. But like, whoever you was talking to, like, they need to understand, like, you work getting paid for. You know why? Because I respect what you do, bro. Right. I get a lot of dudes that just want to come around me and be up under me because, you know, I built this type of wave and I built my own traction and my own movement. But I see you different. I see you. Every time you've been came there so far, we have a time, we have a dialogue, and you're ready to leave. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I know it don't be no disrespect to me, but it's just more or less, I see you got your own personal life going on, which I like. And you got your own things that you're doing in your life. I said, yeah, my job is not to be the person that's hanging on your coattail or hanging on, or hanging on the back of, you know, trying to hang on to the back of the bumper of the car. Right. My job is to come in and do the work, make sure we got a good working relationship, and build another relationship out of that so we got, always have some kind of understanding mm -hmm. and move forward. He was like, damn, I never had nobody give it to me like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm always used to them dudes this big and, and my DM will call me, damn, I'm not a shoot, I'm not a shoot, just that there. When you see it, it's tore the fuck up. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Plus, I like how you challenging me on camera. A lot of people acting like, you know, they'll be kind of like, you know, Going with the flow. They'll go with the flow and BC let him kind of become the director when he's the rapper. Right. They don't supposed to work like that. You see what I'm saying? My job as a director and the title and the definition of a director is to direct your attention what I need you to do on camera. Exactly. I'm not your father. I'm not trying to <laughs> sit, I'm not <laughs> none of that. Well, I'm not, not your father. Yeah, I'm not your yeah. father. I'm not trying to tell you what the fuck to do out there. Or try to do what you're doing. Let me rephrase right. that. I'm not trying to tell you what to do with your fucking life. Right. I'm trying to tell you what, what's needed behind that lens. You know why? Because I'm on the, on the opposite side of the lens. I can see what you're doing. So he liked the fact that I challenge him. Mm -hmm. So moving, moving forward, you know, we, we kind of like develop a great relationship overnight. Plus he's seen what kind of dude I was. I'm not the dude to be, you know, I don't, if you tell me something, I'm not going to go and recite it back to somebody because that's not my business, not my place. Right. It's called minding your fucking business mm -hmm. and staying in your role. Right. Because once you put yourself in a conversation or put yourself in something that you don't have no business, you become a part of the problem if that's going to be spun out of control. Mm -hmm. So I know where to hold them and fold them at. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I keep it respectful. I'm always going to have the utmost respect for people that got respect for me. And I'm gonna do my job and I'm gonna do it well. He ain't never got a babysit me. And he respect that I'm not gonna be that person, like I said, not gonna be sound repetitive. I'm not gonna be that person that's gonna be sitting around just hanging around. I'm gonna go out and get my own money. Right. And and I'll be moving, shaking and moving mm -hmm. with everybody. Mm -hmm. So he always dug that about me. Mm -hmm. So when things start, you know, I as we did more videos, and as we did more videos, we had more conversations. Right. As we had more conversations, the friendship and the brotherhood grew more tighter. Right. And like kindly, like one day, I remember, uh, it's funny, funny story. Um, I remember uh, he shot the No Smoke video. Yeah. And he was at the bad cave. And I'll tell you about the story, because I ain't no problem with it, but he shot that video. Even though Benny Boom shot it. Yeah. So I was mad at him about that. All that money he gave Benny, yeah, yeah, like, God was, damn, man, I, was I was the same thing. Mad. I was mad. So he came to the studio, he's like, yeah, I got a feature, I got a knockout, you already know the routine, DS, bam, hit up for the feature, bam, they got to get the video to do with me, that's mandatory. I said, that's cool, and you know, rug at the board and all that other shit, I said, that's cool, but, what's up with that new smoke video? He was like, oh, man, it was about the day, bro, come on, man, I said, man, fuck all that, man, I said, you were supposed to bring that home, he was like, it was about the name." This, that, and third in place. I'm like, yo, Benny Boom is cool, but DS is better. I don't, I'm not downgrading myself. And you got more of a sense of resume than me. You've been doing videos than me. But my whole thing, I'm not, I don't put myself second to the fucking nobody. Right. And I tell them to their face, because I don't care. Because at the end of the day, I'm a man. Right. I'm a man first. I'm a man first. I'm right. second to nobody. I don't care right. what you do. Right. Because if you can do it, I can do it better. Right. Because my mom ain't raised no fool or to be to be praising somebody in, 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 in a certain kind of sense 
to be, you know, oh no, you know, well, he's up here. I can't never get up here. Like, he got a mom, he got a dad, he came from a mom, a woman, all that other stuff. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? All I gotta do is just work my ass off to get up there where he at. Mm -hmm. This is no disrespect to him. It's just more or less, I'm real competitive. Right. Rap's competitive. Directing is competitive. Movies are competitive. Mm -hmm. It's a competitive nature and a competitive sport that we're in. Right. So being a, wanting to be the best of the best, there's nothing wrong with that. Not All it does is it show that how much you really want yeah, it and how much you, you take pride in your work. Mm -hmm. I take pride in a DS the writer because you know why? <clears throat> Excuse me, because I care about my name. Mm -hmm. Because I always, like I always told you and I always told anybody, I can't let it go out the door like that because the first thing they're going to say is, your name on it. My name on it and I get a bad referral. Because mm -hmm. if I can't, if I don't think it's high, <clears throat> and I can't give it to you. Right. My whole day, if I can make you feel though, because it starts with me and the client, and it's going to end. People have their opinions about the video. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like the transition. This. Opinions like assholes. Everybody going to have one. Facts. But at the end of the day, I got to make sure always the client is happy. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Because exactly. if the client is happy, because I don't know what you did to get your money. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people are still out here in transition of the streets, which is cool. To each his own. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get it how you gotta get it. You gotta gotta get it. But I'm always mindful and I'm respectful mm -hmm. of how that person, whatever he did to get that money to pay me. Mm -hmm. So in return, that's about quality insurance. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I gotta turn in the product. That don't mean just because I don't sit behind an office building, I you know, yeah, I you know, I could I could do the nigga shit and just take my time and oh uh, no, go spend your money on a fucking bill and Take my lady out to eat. Then it's like now you call it. It should never get that bad 